as, as your dean said, our new novelist has had quite a day. It started with a phone call at 5 a.m. and he said he could tell from the Swedish accent <laughs> <laughs> something was up. And he, he hasn't been asleep since or had his cup of tea or anything. When I got to his house about 8 a.m., um, he was uh, already, there were reporters there. I presented him with a, a little gift because I just came in last night from Japan at midnight and I brought with me a little gift. Uh, it was a sake cup. And now, uh, Professor Nagichi, I want to present you something to put in the sake cup. I'm not going to share. Some old sake to celebrate with his wife, who has been working all day, and they're anxious to celebrate and spend some time together. Well, this has been an amazing day for our professor of chemistry. He's been in many, many press conferences. I've had the pleasure of learning a lot more about the chemistry you do, Professor Nagichi, just a lot more, and how uh, important it is, and all his early influences, like that of the mentorship of the great Dr. Brown here. And uh, students, I can, I can say after uh, hearing his remarks that he really thinks that the very best thing that students can do is to study deeply and know your discipline very well, and then to have great dreams. He said, the greater, the more lofty, the better. And then to get about the business of doing exploration of science and just keep exploring and then you too will surely excel. Dr. Nagichi, it is just such an honor that you are here at Purdue. You've spent now over 30 years with us inspiring our students. Just today he told the press conference he had to take a break to teach his organic chemistry class to 300 sophomores. A big hand for everything you've done for research and for our students.